Tony. 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 Harry, what? What? I was busy. Yeah. Yeah, you kind of moaned. What were you dreaming about? I didn't moan. Yeah, maybe it's just my head. None of your business what I was dreaming about. I was away from here. That's all that matters. Huh. Okay. Just, I definitely heard a moan. Maybe you moaned. Maybe I did. Oh, Harry, what the hell? Tony? Yeah. Tony. So. Hey. You are real, aren't you? Uh, yeah. What were you dreaming about? Uh, nothing. I but I heard you moan. I didn't moan. Why does everyone keep saying I moan? Did you talk to Harry? No. Just, you're I having was, a dirty dream, weren't you? No, I was dreaming yes, about... Yes, you so were. Who was it? Eating an ice cream Sunday on the beach. You moaned about that? I didn't moan! Stop <laughs> talking to Harry. He's full of crap. I wasn't talking to Harry. Who is this your dream about? Tell me, tell me. It was Maddie. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Well, you can go back to sleep now, okay? Yeah, you can go back to bothering me. <laughs> Tony? These scissors are nice and sharp, aren't they? That's not nice. You're a dick. Stop talking to her and telling me I moaned. I didn't moan, okay? You moaned for Maddie. You need to stop lying to people and saying I moaned, okay? I didn't happen, you freak. You're, you're, Mona Lisa! Go have your baby, you're already like eight months overdue. Moan! Maddie. Hey, Tony, what's going on? Leave this guy. What's going on? I think he's on his time of the month again. So who are you moaning about? Dude, are you talking to Harry? No, I heard you moaning from in there. That was probably Harry just making noises. No, I saw him in there. He moaned over there. <laughs> who was the dream about? I wasn't dreaming and I wasn't moaning. Come on, there's nothing wrong with having a dirty dream. Alright, it was Maddie. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. No, Why it wasn't. can't it be Maddie? Because you barely ever talk to her. I fantasize about her. No, you don't. Someone like you? No. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Because you are one who is madly in love with Maddie. Alyssa. Maddie. Alyssa. No. But how come you always smile every time you say her name? I don't smile. You don't smile every time you say no. Alyssa's name? No, I don't. You're smiling now. No, I'm not. Alyssa. No. Alyssa? No, I'm not. Alyssa. No, you're just... Alyssa, hello, <laughs> this is Alyssa. You have the wrong number because I don't like Alyssa. That's a good thing I call 1-800-MOAN. <laughs> I didn't moan! Stop telling people I moaned, Harry! It was probably just the wind or something. The wind made you smile every time you say Alyssa? The wind made me moan. Just face it, you like Alyssa. Why don't you go talk to her? You have no problem with women before, unless this is something more than just feelings. Alyssa. No. Stop. <laughs> Stop doing that. You're just patronizing me. I'm patronizing. Yes. Patronizing Alyssa. me. You know, we have no don't we have a job to do? I mean, this is all no, we, we don't. We sit around here and do nothing. That, but that would take away the fun of me torturing you. What can I say? I'm sneaky. You want to sneak around the night? Yeah, alright. I got no plans. I was thinking maybe we could get a movie, get some takeout. Okay. By the way, congratulations on the big promotion. Thanks. I love you. You too. Morning, 
Bells. Morning. No coffee. No. I'll call hospitality and get him up here. Funny. Charlie Downing was always on top of getting coffee. Yeah, he was also always touching gas controls and shouldn't be. Whatever. Look, Bell, stop. Like, can't you just let this Trevor Downing thing go? I don't want to keep arguing. We'll see. Congratulations on the promotion, though. Promotion? Yeah. Usually promotion means promotion. The definition is actually promotion. You're a tricky one. So, what happened? D.A. Harris retired yesterday. No way. Why? Wow. So, that means you're now... Harris personally asked me to take his position as Wildwood District Attorney. Wow. Well, it's good. You've worked hard for it. I Is guess this it? job does pay off. Hey, but... There's no coffee? Come on! Hurry on, it's fine. So, Maddie, I was wondering if you are not the girl I had a one-night stand with. How do you know I don't think? What? Oh, well, I'm not used to that kind of sexual tension. Hello, I'm Jackie. I make sexual jokes when I'm uncomfortable. Hi, I'm Harry. I kind of do the same thing, sort of, like the same humor, kind of. It was <laughs> really hard to get out. That's what she said. <laughs> I gleaned that. So, can I help you with something? No, I just kind of came in here to bother the girl I had a one-night stand with. Oh. Yeah. So what are you doing here? Like new or something? Yeah, I'm here to finish the Valerie Roscoe case. What? I understand she was very close to you all. Uh, yeah, I close like a blanket on a cold winter night. Look, I didn't mean to get in anybody's way. I'm just here to tie up things, make sure everything's in order. Make sure we don't make any mistakes. It's just that your department has a history of screwing up cases for people that are close to you. I'm just here to make sure you dot your T's and cross your I's, or reverse that. <laughs> That's what she said. I think I'm gonna like you, Harry. Coffee, anyone? They finally hired someone that won't cause mass explosions. And you're late. Sorry, what did I miss? New staplers? Harry told a joke? Oh, paperwork! You know, I find sarcasm to be highly unnecessary. Wasn't that sarcasm right there? Shut up. No, I'm exes. Can I bother you for a minute? Probably. It's about the Dan Harrison case. I'm exes. The Dan Harrison case? But it's the Dan Harrison. Ah, uh, always a pleasant subject. Mm-hmm. His lawyers convinced him to plead not guilty. Not guilty to six counts of murder when the evidence no, is the revolver no. owned by his yes. father and has the prints on it? it? Looks that way. I'd love to hear this crazy ass defense. You've already heard it. Give me How one. have I already heard it? Give me that one. Well, his lawyer is claiming that since he's played so many violent video games go. that he's been desensitized. We're um, going back to this bullshit violent video games causes violence croc. Sorry. They're seriously going to say that violent video games caused Dan Harrison to kill six people on two different days in two different locations. It's more than that. They're claiming that because he plays violent video games like Grand Theft Auto and Mortal Kombat... Good games. <laughs> ...that he's been desensitized to violence and killing because he's so used to seeing it and doing it. Whoa, you're not buying into this shit, are you? No. I play Left 4 Dead and Grand Theft Auto all the time. Good for you. <laughs> but the jury might not. Especially the more conservative jurors. They're going to see the violent video games exactly how the defense wants them to see them. And then they're going to fill the stands with these so-called expert witnesses that are going to testify that video games rot kids' minds and that they're going to give some beefed up statistics that say that violent video games does this crap that it doesn't do and these old windbaggers are going to believe it. But everyone's going to forget about the fact that this kid murdered six people. Where's the justice in that? Hi, babe. Um, I'm just having a rough day at work, so give me a call, okay? I love you.
I'm so glad I finally have a desk that can personalize. Yeah, yeah. What is that? Huh? What is that? This is plank. I know it's a plank, but why do you have a plank? It's not a plank, it's plank. He is my friend, and he? I'd appreciate his friend. Your hands not all over, not all over him, and your hands are very dirty. Tony, what's the matter? You don't want your desk? It's not that. I'm just not used to working in such close proximity to him. Hey, I'm a great co-worker! This. Greetings, my minions, and how are we doing today? Wonderful. I can hardly notice the bars in this prison cell. You know, Tony, there is an ancient Chinese proverb that I think might really help you in this situation. What's that? Tough shit. Ha. <laughs> Clever. So, what do we do now? Now, we wait for a case. And until then? Yeah, well, I guess we could get close to one another with some serious talk and some personal connections and feelings. Well, do you always have to deflect serious questions with sarcastic jokes? Do you always have to deflect sarcastic jokes with serious questions? This sucks. I should be on patrol, but instead I'm stuck here doing nothing. Vacuum sucks, honey. This does not. Hello? City prison. That's the spirit. Really? When? Where? Are you sure? I hope so. Okay. Thanks. Who was that? Hector Santos was gunned down this morning. At the house. What? What? Like, he's dead? Wait, yeah. this is like Hector Santos, leader of the Wildwood Diablos. Dead is dead. <laughs> Air high five! Air this is like the best news of the week! Mike's like, happy too. We have fingerprints confirmed, he's dead. That is awesome. I'll probably never catch the shooter. Who cares? The drug lord is dead. The city's become way safe again. Don't you agree, Belle? Last dance, last chance for love. Yes, it's my last chance. And I'm out to dinner with the leader of a drug cartel. The hell was I thinking coming out in public? Hey, Ken. Hey, Ken, listen, I was wondering... Oh, you're not Ken. If it's past you. Sorry, I got thrown with the British. Well, well, is it not heavy enough for you? No, no, I didn't. Would you, would you like me to go further? Would you like me to go, oh, would you like a cup of tea? Long live the king! Oh, oh bloody hell! Sorry. Is, uh, uh, is Ken working today, Dr. Williams? No. Where is he? Somalia. As in Africa? Yes, he's working there fighting TB. I'm filling in for him. I'm Dr. Kelly Saunders. Sergeant on spell. So, um, yeah, I guess we haven't been able to hold on to medical examiners since Dr. Blade. Don't get used to me. I'm only temporary. Until they get a full-time M.E. I'm actually a psychologist filling in here. Oh, well, it's true. You don't need a medical degree to perform an autopsy. Did you just... come here for something? Yeah, ah, oh, sorry. Um, I'm looking for the autopsy report for Hector Santos. The gang leader? Yeah. That was marked top priority. So you have it. The lead detective on the case list here is Connie Chang. You don't look like her. Ha uh -huh. Well, listen, I'm from Special Cases Unit, and I'm going to need that report. Special what? We're new. Look, my badge is real. I'm going to need that autopsy report. All right, then. Harry, leave her alone. <laughs> 